Holy crap. Bro, do you realize what is going on right now? Hurricane out here. I'm sure, no, yeah, but not only the hurricane. But look, I don't know if you guys notice, but you notice what's normally over there? Yeah, my grill is normally oh. there. Yeah, <laughs> oh, my oh. grill, yeah, my grill, look, is in my pool. See it right there? That's my grill in the bottom of my pool. <laughs> Sick. I mean, it's not hurricaning, it's a tropical storm. I didn't think the wind was gonna be that. It's not like it's on wheels or anything. Great. <laughs> All right, well, how the hell are you guys? Welcome to the show. What are you so excited about over there? Blue Jolly Rancher Red Bull. Blue Jolly Rancher Red Bull? You heard it right. Delicious. It is. snake room we made it snake room all right so today the main objective of this video is we're gonna feed kilo i did not feed it last time oh you got poop all over you bro look he's got poop all over the back of his spine so kilo he was sick and then he ate and then he stopped eating again and it's just like back and forth and back and forth he likes chicks he likes rats he likes he's just like he's very confused he's all over the place yeah he's a very confused teenager he still doesn't know what he likes yet so, he does like chicks for sure, but I don't want to feed him chicks because chicks keep messing him up and scratching him, yada yada, skip all that boring stuff. I want him to eat rats, okay? So today, we are going to use a little trick that my good friend, Don K, thank you Don. Don gave me some pointers, told me how to do this special little, it's pretty obvious and simple, I don't know why I didn't think of it myself. It's too simple to think of. Yeah, a couple little steps, we're gonna show you here in a second how to do that. And we're gonna trick Kilo into eating a rat today. Yes, sir. And hopefully he slams it down. Because he's his body weight is still good. He still looks super healthy. But he's a little on the skinnier side. I don't know if you guys remember when I got him or not. But he was very fat and happy and like, he was great. I'm not saying I want him to be fat, but I want him to have a little bit more mass. He could definitely be thicker. Yeah. So, before we do that though, my guy, Russ, he just shed. Look at how beautiful he is. So I'm gonna take Russ out real quick. We're gonna clean his cage real fast because he's got some shed in there. Show you guys how beautiful he looks real quick. And then, time to feed Mr. Key. The main. Okay, let's take out my dude. Hey Russ, get this out real quick. Dude, I love it how he looks right after he sheds. Dude, he's like a totally different looking snake. Now you can really see the orange on his body great like holy crap dude it's like a, dealing with a new snake every time he sheds like look at this bro look at how light the colors of his body are getting look how big he is getting like this is crazy dude like look at my little rust bro you guys remember when i got him like he wasn't nearly this big hey 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 relax Woo. had me dancing there for a second russ Hey, chill out, chill, chill, chill. Nice and calm, 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 calm. Now he is definitely getting a little crazier. A lot more defensive. He's wide awake right now. He just had a meal probably three or four days ago now, so he's in the middle of digesting that. He just shed yesterday. Look, he's smelling the carpet. Last time I fed him was on the carpet Chandler was over here. We did a little video for Chandler on his channel. You guys can go over there and check it out. But we fed Rusty out of his cage the other day. Probably about a week ago now. So he's probably smelling the carpet. And he probably smells the remains 
of that little Burmese python that we had on the floor. But dude, look how cool this guy is getting. He's so freaking smart. He's so quick, dude. He is on top of it, man. He is such an alert little snake. It's crazy. Like imagine when he gets big, dude. He is gonna be a lot to handle when he's a huge cobra. But hopefully, he calms down a little bit. Woo! Dude, it's crazy. Like, he comes at you. He means business, man. See that? He just turned around, mouth open. Freaking crazy, dude. But look at the colors of him. Dude, he's beautiful, man. He's definitely... Definitely wake you up, man. This is not a snake that you can handle half asleep. You know what I mean? You gotta be on your toes with this guy. For sure. But dude, look at the color. Look at the size of him, man. He's changing so much, it's crazy. I love it. All right, so let's get this guy in the trash can. Nice and safe. Put him down right there like that. Look at how light he is. Man, dude, what a beautiful king. So let's clean his cage real quick. Get him back in there and get some food to Kilo. All right, so the cage is nice and clean. I even sprayed it with some water. Give him some humidity because he loves that. Dude, look at this snake, man. Dude, what a beautiful animal. Like, dude, look at how light he's getting. It's awesome. He just keeps getting lighter and lighter. Now, I'm pretty sure he's 100% Malaysian. Chandler thinks he's crossed. But the people that I got him from are dead set that he's 100% Malaysian. So we're just going to continue seeing how his colors keep changing during every shed. And he should just keep getting lighter and lighter. Obviously, he definitely keeps getting lighter. Like, dude, look at this snake. What a cool little cobra, dude. Orange. That tail is amazing. Super fast, super smart snake. Go right back into your cage there, buddy. Go right back. Thank you. Nice and safe. Dude, he's easily over six feet now. It's crazy. He needs to get his new cage ASAP, which is what we're waiting on right now. So hopefully in the next week or two, the new vision cage will come and then we're gonna set him up right over here. And it's gonna be awesome. I can't wait to upgrade him. All right, so before we started this, I started thawing out these rats a while ago. So the main trick to this Boom, is your lovely chicken broth. Unsalted, just regular ass chicken broth. Easy, right? It's like, why didn't you think about this in the first place? So what we're doing is we're thawing out this rat. It's already thawed out. I'm just warming them back up. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a little Tupperware container like this. I'm just gonna pour a tiny, tiny little bit of chicken broth in there because we're gonna reuse this every time we feed Kilo. What we're gonna do is we're gonna slowly, we're gonna scent it with less and less and less until eventually he's just taking that rat, no problem, not scented. So, for now, we're gonna heat this up, we're gonna dry off the rat, we're gonna soak the rat into this super hot chicken broth, and then hopefully Kilo is tricked and he takes it right away. All right, so. We're going to just dry this guy off like this, okay? Make it nice and dry. Oh, yes. You nice and dry. Thank you. All right. Put a boop right in the chicken broth like that. I'm going to cover up these rats so that my freaking psycho cats don't eat it. So I'm just going to roll this guy around in this super hot chicken broth. Just like that, right? Easy enough. All right, cool. So now, the moment of truth going to take this rat, he's been soaking in this chicken broth, so he's probably, he smells like it. And the reason why you want to use chicken broth is because it's got all the parts of the chicken in it. They make it with the bones and all that stuff, so it's got all the good stuff that you want. So if you trick him into eating. Let's get this out of here. Oh, you got some spicy meatballs in that cage, bro, but that's not the main, we're not cleaning your cage today, we're just feeding, and hopefully in a couple days. Oh, oh my god, look at that, dude. How freaking awesome is that? So look at that, dude. He took it no problem right away, man. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Now I'm just going to step back here for a moment. 
and let him start working this rat down. I mean, he bit it right away, which is a really good sign. So normally, when that's the case, he swallows it. So I'm just gonna stand back here and not disturb him for a second and let him start working that rat down. I want him to start taking these better meals. That is very important for your animals, you know what I mean? Like the chicks are good, but like the chicks, I had to feed him like, dude, four of them at a time, you know? And the chicks have beaks on them, their feathers, their claws. He got that respiratory problem and he got that weird cut in his mouth that messed him up for a little bit. So I feel like it had to do, had something to do with the chicks. So now he's going to have a way better meal. There's more nutrition. There's more of a meal for him. You can see, you see those little tiny front fixed fangs? You see as he's inching his way up, you can see those little skin membranes that are holding, that they're pretty much encasing his teeth. Really cool how their mouths are set up. The anatomy of these snakes is amazing. Look at that. Ugh, so great. The best feeling ever is when you have a snake that is just a very picky eater. And he's just, it's its work, you know, it's definitely a pain in the ass having a snake like this that you gotta be very selective on his food. But when he takes a meal like this, no problem at all. That chicken broth trick is super clutch. Thank you, Don, for telling me that because this is gonna make sure that my Kilo gets a lot of really good healthy meals finally. Get his weight back up to where I want it to be. Booyah, success, safe to say, he's going to finish that. Hell yeah, dude. I am so excited and happy for you, Kilo. You're crazy. You got poop on you, but you ate. That's the most important part. Awesome. Super stoked success. Yes. Boom. Yes, yes, yes. Turn Thank you, down. Don. That was the best tip ever. So, guys, if you have an animal that is stuck on eating chicks. Now you know chicken broth. Heat it up, soak the rat, boom. That easy. So now, hopefully my little man get his body weight back up. He's a healthy cobra, but I just wanna get his body weight up a little tiny bit and we're golden. All right guys, that is it for today. Stay tuned this week, more cool stuff to come. Look, those are the Mangshan Vipers. Oh, you can't look. Can't look. I set them up a new cage. Got the new Insularis down there. We got another setup right here. We got some stuff to show you in the next video, so make sure you stay tuned for that. All right, hopefully this weather will get better. Dude, I'm so sick of this weather. Dying over here. Dude, it's been terrible. It's been, it's been too long since we've been in the ocean, bro. Way too long. We need the ocean. Right at peak interest, too. We need it. It's the end of the year. It sucks, but like, dude, I just want to fast forward till March so we can just get to it's really totally do really the cool it. stuff. Yeah. With that said, guys, at 500,000 subscribers, we're at 300 something right now. Tell your friends, make sure you're subscribed, spread the word, let's get up to 500,000, and then we're going somewhere dope. I'm thinking 
Go dive somewhere sick, bro. I want to go to Australia. Let's go dive in Australia. I want to go hang What's out with that? Young Bloods. All those guys over there. Go do some spear fishing. Go do some regular fishing. Go do some diving. Go herping. Go catch some snakes. Dude, I want to do some cool stuff. We can go to Costa Rica. Oh my gosh. We can go to Stop Peru. About it. We can go to Mexico. Dude, there's so many places that we can go to. And, and it's up to. to you guys. Let's get to 500,000 subscribers. Go tell your friends. Make sure they all get subscribed. Okay, let's get up to 500,000. And then we're going somewhere dope. Let us know where we should go. Let us know. Where do you want us to go? We'll come even hang out with you guys. If you guys watch, you want us to come hang out. You're in a dope country with some dope animals. You do dope stuff. That's dope. Let's do it. Let's All right, it. run it, baby. Till next time, we're out of here. Kilo, you gotta put all your stuff back in your cage and close it so you stay in there. You don't escape. I don't want a cobra escaping in Boca. My neighbors would hate me. They already don't like me. They would definitely not like me after that. So, stay tuned, guys. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Appreciate you for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Till next time, peace out. Stay safe. Stay awesome. Stay beautiful. Stay gangsta. All that crap. Later. Bye.